Good morning, dear students. My name is Farhan Mazan, and today is 6th of May 2021. To the subject we are studying is Physics 5054, and today we have set our hearts to learn how to draw the wave fronts when the water waves enter from the deep water into the shallow water. This topic is waves in your course, and the subject is Physics 5054. Let's start. So here you can see that we have. Uh, we have uh, a situation shown to you here, the blue color lines, they are basically representing the wave fronts in the deep water. And uh, this red color line is basically the boundary after this, the water is shallow. So we have to learn how to draw the wave fronts in the shallow water. So the methodology is very simple, just learn how, the, how this is done. So first of all, I have to draw the direction line for the direction line, I will use a set square because the direction line should be perpendicular to these blue wave fronts, which are in the deep water. So you see, I put the wave, uh, I have put the set square and this is the angle on uh, 90 degree angle in the set square in this way. And now this edge is perpendicular to these blue wave fronts. This edge has been aligned with one of the blue wave, uh, wave fronts. And this edge is perpendicular to the wave front. So I will take a pencil and I will draw a line along this edge of the set square. So here you can see that I have drawn that line. That line is called the direction line. And you can see that that direction line is making 90 degree angle with these wave fronts. Now, uh, once you have drawn this, this point where the direction line touches the uh, boundary uh, between the deep water and the shallow water, this is the point of incidence. I will put a, a protector here and the crosshair of the protector I will put here and the, both the zeros of the protector should be on this red boundary. So let me show you, this is how you put the protector in this manner. You put your protector and you can see that the crosshair of the, of the protector, they are at the point of incidence and both the zeros on this side and the zero on this side, they both are aligned on that boundary. So then I will put the dot here to mark the 90 degree angle because I will, I will join this, this dot of the 90 degree and this point of incidence, and that will be the normal. So let me show you, you can see that here I have drawn in the normal, this is the normal. I, I have also written here normal. Normal basically makes 90 degree angle. I have shown it 90 degree angle with the boundary of the deep water and the shallow water. So then, I will I will draw the direction line in the in the deep water uh, in the shallow water. The sh in the shallow water, you don't have to calculate the angle. But there is only one rule in our course that is that the direction will be the wave fronts will be bended towards the normal. When the water waves enter from deep water into the shallow water, they will bend towards the normal, and the opposite will happen if the if the water waves will enter from the shallow water into the deep water. But in this situation, which is in front of us, the water waves are going to enter from the deep water into the shallow water, so they will bend towards the normal. You, you don't have the, in our course, you don't have to do, you don't have to do the calculations. You only have to bend it towards the normal, uh, towards a little towards the normal, that's it. So we have drawn that direction line, then, I will take a set square. I will take my set square and I will put that set square in such a way. You can see I have put the set square in such a way that the crosshair of the set square and the 90 degree mark of the set square, they both are on the direction line. So this is very important. The crosshair and the 90 degree, they both are on the direction line. So this straight edge, I move the protector a little towards the left. When this straight edge joins this first wave front and this point where the wave front and the boundary, they are meeting each other, the straight edge when coincides with this, I will draw a line here. I will draw a line here with the help of the pencil and that will be the wave front in the shallow water. So let me show you, you can see that here, I have drawn that line. So this line is basically this black line, which I have drawn this black line. This is basically, this is basically a wave front in the shallow water. So then again, I will put my protector and uh, one precaution you have to take the crosshair and the 90 degree mark. They both should be on the direction line. I move the protector a little towards the left when it, it the straight edge of the 
protector coincides with this point where the this wave front the blue wave front is touching the boundary then the straight edge is also touching it i draw a line along this straight edge of the protector so here i have drawn the second wave front you can see and then i will again put the protector and you can see the cross here and the 90 degree mark they both are on the direction line and then i move the protector a little towards the left when the straight edge of the protector coincides with this third uh, wave front the blue wave front in the deep water where it touches the boundary so i draw a line here along this edge and here we go you can see this third wave front you can see these are the refracted wave fronts in the shallow water if by looking at these wave fronts you can see they are parallel to each other their wavelength has decreased the speed of the water waves also decreases so remember when the water waves this is the behavior of the water waves when the water waves enter from deep water into shallow water the wave fronts come close to each other it means that the wavelength will decrease their speed will decrease they will bend towards the normal but the frequency do not change but the frequency do not change so this is how you will draw the wave fronts of the water waves this is the behavior of the water waves in your syllabus sometimes they ask you to draw the wave fronts for the sound waves also the behavior of the sound waves will be different whenever <clears throat> you see the behavior of the water waves is when they enter from one portion into the other portion where their speed will decrease and they bend towards the normal but the behavior of the sound waves is totally different if the if you if you have if you have sound waves sound wave fronts and they enter from one medium into another medium where the speed will decrease they will bend away from the normal that is the behavior of the sound waves the behavior of the sound waves is different from the behavior of the water waves right now we are talking about the water waves when the water waves enter from one portion of the ripple tank into the another portion of the ripple tank where and uh, they are entering into a portion where the speed has decreased so they will bend towards normal and this is how we will draw the wave fronts so i my dear students uh, this was uh, this was it and i think that this will be helpful to you because um, uh, some of my students uh, from out of pakistan they asked me to uh, to uh, to make a video on how to draw the uh, the water wave fronts when they refract so we have taken one example where the water waves are entering from the deep water into the shallow water hopefully you have understood this this is the physics 5054 syllabus is uh, is all all levels physics and the topic is ripple tanks this topic's name is waves and the actual thing is that we were learning how to draw, draw the refracted wave fronts of the water when the water waves enter from the deep waters into the shallow waters don't forget they bend towards the normal in the shallow water their speed decreases their wavelength decreases but the frequency of the water wave do not change so uh, thank you very much everybody hopefully this will be helpful to you if this is helpful to you don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, also press the like buttons and uh, suggest these videos to your friends and if you want to do me a favor uh, also comment send me comments and and tell me if you are from which country and and and, and share them on your facebook so thank you very much everybody it was a pleasure teaching you so thank you very much everybody have a good day and god bless you all